Retail workers face angry customers now that mask mandates are up to individual businesses. The statewide mandate ended over the weekend. Arguments were common and some even face threats. And now state leaders all the way up to the governor are speaking out. The only government mandates for the public right now are in Salt Lake City and in Grand County. That's in southeastern Utah. However, many businesses still say that you still have to wear a mask. Fox 13's Ben Winslow is live on Utah's Capitol Hill to tell us what those state leaders are saying. Ben? Yeah, the governor is backing businesses who are still requiring face masks in the face of threats of violence that some say they're getting. Governor Spencer Cox is condemning threats leveled at local business employees, warning in a statement that people who make threats will be prosecuted. Utah has a strong tradition of respecting private property rights, the governor says, adding businesses and public services have the right under the law to continue to require masks in their establishments if they choose. We support such efforts and thank all Utahns who respect each other's rights and mask requirements whenever they are in effect. Some restaurants and businesses have reported problems getting people to mask up after the statewide mandate was lifted, including this Salt Lake City clothing boutique that says a man threatened to shoot them over it. So if you don't like it, just don't go shop there. You know, don't go in and pick a fight. Representative Paul Ray sponsored the bill nicknamed the COVID-19 Endgame that lifted the statewide mask mandate. He also pushed back at parents trying to send their kids to school without masks where state law has kept the mandate. It's not the school's fault. We require that. The health department has an order. I don't really care for it, but they wanted it. We gave it to them, and I support that. If, it's, if that's the order from the state health department, don't send your kids without masks. All you're doing is you're, you're causing problems for the kids. Hi. Weber County is the latest to drop a mask requirement. We encourage businesses and government uh, and continued use of mask use when they feel it's appropriate. But the local health department did warn it could return if COVID-19 cases start climbing again. We will return to ask the commission for additional considerations for a public health order should Weber County become designated as high on the Utah COVID-19 transmission index. But Representative Ray says things are looking so good with COVID cases and hospitalizations dropping and vaccinations climbing, restrictions might lift sooner than we think. I think we're looking at maybe early May. Uh, we'll see those metrics lift. The only thing we're really waiting on now is the vaccines. We've met everything else. And a reminder, masks remain mandated in some state-run facilities like the Capitol here. Also, counties may have mask requirements at their facilities. Live on the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.